Testing, testing. Oh. There we go. Hey, it's me. And uh, I fucked up. I dropped the ball on something that I was real excited about at the beginning of last year and intended to talk about throughout the year. And then, like, life got a hold of me. I'm just accepting and not beating myself up too much about it because... What does one do? I can't go back in time. I can't do things differently. So that is, uh, that's how I'm looking at it. So at the beginning of this year, I met with a company called Trophy Trip. And I was really excited because we planned out this entire adventure in Greece. And it was going to be for April for a day for Margaret. For those of you who followed me for a long time, you know that every year on the date, the anniversary of my grandma's death, I tend to go on trips or just sort of, you know, spend the day doing things that, you know, I would like to do with her that I feel like she's with me on just sort of like a celebration, a time of remembering her and also just a time of being super present in my life, which currently I'm living. Thanks, Grandma. (laughs) Thanks. You had a big part in that, dude. So shout out to you. So last year I started talking about going to Greece and it would fall perfectly in line with that. I thought it would be amazing to invite everyone along who could come and just, you know, you could come for whatever reason, whether it's just to see Greece or maybe you also have someone that you've lost that you want to do a trip in remembrance of. You know, I imagined us in the sea crying together, you know, burning things under the moon, eating calamari. Mm. Yeah, that was a big part of what I had in my mind for this trip. I figured we would quickly walk through what that trip (laughs) would have been. I've been making internet content since I was 19 years old, and I know how hard it is to get people to even buy a CD. So let alone a plane ticket, babe. I get it. Greece trip with Megan Tonja, Satrova trip. Athens and Santorini, April 6th through April 12th. You know, I noticed a lot of Trova trips, people are doing like full on workshops and skilled team building activities. I don't want to do an icebreaker. I don't want to do group work. I wanted all of us to show up and just have a good time together, have good conversations, have good food, have our own personal space, make decisions for ourselves as adults. And, um, help each other take cute photos, you know? I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna lead anyone in anything. Day one, we get there, okay? Everyone gets there. We meet up for dinner that night. Everyone's at the hotel. We eat delicious food. We talk to each other, we meet each other, and we take a stroll down the oldest neighborhood in Athens, all right? Under the shadow of the Acropolis and its ancient temples, the neighborhood has a village feel with narrow cobblestone streets lined with tiny shops, tavernas, and cafes. A perfect introduction to Greece. I feel like this was definitely the trip I was going to meet the love of my life on, but you know, I fucked it up for us guys. I'm sorry. We were going to spend the night in Athens. We were going to get up the next day, day two. We are going to have breakfast at the hotel, and then we are going to do an Athens city tour. We were going to go to the Parthenon, baby. Okay? Built in the mid-5th century. Big as fuck. (laughs) I planned on doing just enough walking to take some cute photos, but then probably sitting the fuck down because I have herniated discs. That's also something I didn't know when I planned this trip. Didn't know I had multiple herniated discs. That was also, you know what, actually while I'm talking about all the things that, what led to some of the depression and the focus away from this, was um, dealing with some pretty some pretty major physical pain this past year and finally paying out of pocket to get an MRI. But you know what? I was gonna I was gonna hit it hard. I was gonna get this core tight for this Parthenon walk, baby. So that was gonna be like our our, you know, we're here we're we're from out of town day. <laughs> Take some photos for Facebook. So we could all upload 30 photos um, of the same blurry thing and show that we went to Greece together. After breakfast, imagine us, baby, on a ferry, waving goodbye, going to Santorini. All right? Like we're fucking celebrities. 
Like we have no jobs to get back to. Breakfast at the hotel was going to be included. Then we were going to take a ferry to Santorini and we we're going to stay at the El Greco Hotel. Chill. We're in a boat for most of the day. Okay, again, we're hanging out. We're eating some food. We're going to bed. Day four, rise and shine to the good vibes of the Greek islands. It's time to live the island life. Island, ugh, okay, I the S is the... The L's and the S's are hard for me. The island life with your fellow travelers on your first full day on the picturesque island of Santorini. We were going to have breakfast. We were going to have a late lunch. This was actually, so this is April 9th. So this was actually the day for Day for Margaret. I wanted us to have like a good but chill time. And then we were going to go on a village walk and uh, see the sunset. We were uh, going to explore the village of Ia. Well known for its beautiful sunsets, blue domed churches, and traditional white homes, the narrow streets have plenty of tourist shops, restaurants, and cafes. Situated on top of rugged cliffs, Ia offers breathtaking views of the volcano of Santorini and the island of Thrasia. I know I probably said that incorrectly, and I apologize. And we were going to stay at the El Greco Hotel again overnight. So again, another day of us eating delicious food having conversations, probably crying together, but not having to do anything like we're not we're not walking a five mile walk up a volcano. Okay, I'm concerned about everyone's insoles, their backs, their bones, their inflammation. Day five, another morning in paradise. Okay, today, day of leisure explore the island i felt we could like break off into little groups for people that wanted to, to do different stuff some people want to stay at the hotel some people want to go maybe do a five mile hike up a volcano whatever it is you're into i just want to see the sights and i want to feel the sea on my skin and journal and take boomerangs of me in a bikini for you know my internet boyfriends. <laughs> we were going to have breakfast at the hotel, okay? And then we were going to go wine tasting. We were going to get on a little bus or something, go up, I assume north, don't know. But we were going to have a little wine tasting. It was going to be delicious. We were going to get a little drunk together, okay? And that's when the tears probably really were going to flow. And then we're going to stay at the El Greco Hotel. And then day six, we're getting back on the ferry. We're going back across the sea, okay, to the mainland. We're having breakfast at the hotel. We're taking the ferry. We're having dinner at a local restaurant that was going to be delicious. This is where I feel like I was going to get my calamari. And then we're staying overnight in Athens. And then day seven, babe, all good things come to an end. We were going to start saying goodbye to each other, head off to the airport. People that want to stay longer but aren't connected to the trip anymore, you could stay longer. You're in Greece, babe. Like I was planning on maybe just hanging out for a while. Why go back? Why rush back? But also, you know, people got families and things to do. So seven days is pretty, pretty substantial. And then they're going to be transfers to the airport. And then, you know, we were going to walk away as, uh, as travel buddies with some stories, with some tales, with some tears, with some laughs and some great pictures and some cute videos and probably journals new journals that i would have bought for myself that i didn't need but of course i had to buy because i was in greece and you know it's just a place that i've always wanted to go and it seems really beautiful and i do like to travel so anyway that is the trip that would have been could have been maybe one day it will be uh if a miracle occurs in the next 24 to 48 hours but uh, i'm sorry that i didn't bring that to you sooner and i'm sure that it's all going to work out the way that it works out. 